Hello, Anita at Blue Fox. This is Joel from JND SEO. Spoke briefly on the phone today, so I'm going to show you three ways that you can beat your competition online. And I don't want to waste your time, Anita. I don't want to waste mine, so I'm actually going to make this as quick as possible. If at the end of the video you do want to hear more information, then we'll set up a 10 minute phone call. If not, I'm actually going to give you free tips right in this video. You guys can actually apply them to your site. No problem, excuse me. All right, so the first thing I do want to talk about is content. And so I'm gonna look at the amount of content you guys have on your page. You guys do have a good amount of content. And I'm really looking for about 1500 words because that's really what Google recommends and they're going to rank you higher for the more that you have. You guys probably have, I'm gonna guess around 600 words of content, potentially even a little more. Um, so you're you're you know you're you're creeping in on about half there for sure, but definitely I would recommend having even more than that. But the bigger reason, other than Google ranking you higher, that we want so much content is the more content you do have, the more keywords and keyword phrases you can put into that content. As an example, I've put in "roofing Charlotte, North Carolina," which is a great term. It's also a term that new customers looking for services would put in as well. First thing we're gonna find with almost any Google search is these ads at the top of the screen. And basically everyone knows about ads at this point, but it's companies just paying to be seen first by potential customers with the hopes of bringing in additional clients. After that, we're going to find this map section. Top three companies are gonna show up on here based on citations. And that's just when they get their business name, address, and phone number all listed together into a directory site. These are sites like Yelp, Yellow Pages, Home Advisor. We've all heard of those, I'm sure. And after that, we're going to run into our organic section. There's gonna be 10 results that do show up per page on any Google search you do. And these don't show up randomly. They're all based on Google's algorithm or formula. And we know two parts of that now are content and um, keywords and citations do play a part as well. So if we actually wanted to rank our keyword roofing Charlotte, North Carolina, we would say number one goes to Baker Roofing, number two goes to Better Business Bureau, and number three goes to Charlotte Roofing. Better Business Bureau is in fact essentially a directory. What I want to do next is I'm going to take your website bluefoxroofing.com and I'm going to just put it into a program that I like to use called Arist. This allows me to kind of analyze your site and to see how you are currently doing. I see right away that you guys do have a few um, kind of headers up here in your header section which is residential roofing company, best roofers in Charlotte, North Carolina. So these could be keywords. They also do say your location. Having even your name up here also wouldn't be a bad idea. And that actually allows Google to find you a little easier in searches. Take a quick stroll through the numbers here, 119 referring domains. These are just websites that have links on them. When people click those links, it sends them back to your page. So the 119 sites that you guys have links on, basically are sending you back 524 links. So a little less than about five per website. And you guys can be found for 205 organic keywords. These are what really do bring the traffic and visitors to your site. So the 205 keywords that you guys do have are sending you, are actually bringing you about 30 visitors to your site per month. So let's just take a quick look at your keywords and kind of see where the traffic's coming from. First thing we do see is zippering shingles. And even though this may be applicable, it's actually not um, a preferred keyword. And the reason why is for two reasons. Number one, if I just type in zippering shingles, that doesn't mean I wanna get my roof done right now. And the second thing is zippering shingles is a national term, meaning it's not specific to North Carolina, heck even Virginia or any certain town in the area. So I might get people calling me from Texas, California, Oregon, uh, Montana, Alaska, and I'm not gonna be able to help them. So their call is not gonna be very helpful for me. So even though this one is a decent one and you guys are in the first position for it, it's not gonna be the most helpful. Um, so I think what we'd like to do here is I wanna scroll down and try to find a couple really good ones. Normally I would find your uh, business name in here, Blue Fox. 
Here we go. This is a good one, though. Um, well, these ones here as well. R Residential Roofing Charlotte, North Carolina. That's a good one because it's a service you offer with a location you offer it in. 90 people do search it. And this one, though, you guys are ranked 19. 10 results do show up per page. So 19 is going to put us at the bottom of the second page, which we found through study that 80 to 85 percent of people who do who go on searches never actually go to page two. So being at the bottom of page two is not going to be um, as helpful. It's not going to bring in the customers. We really want to get in the top 10 onto page one. But these are good terms. Roofing Charlotte, another good one for new customers. Um, Blue Fox, that's your business name. People who search that know who you are. It's going to be some of your referrals or potentially um, even some repeat customers. As a comparison, I'm going to run over to Baker's Roofing. You know, they're going to have some pretty big numbers here, but a few of their terms are probably are more national terms. So uh, 1,300 referring domains, sending back 14,000 links, 5,000 keywords, sending back uh, about 10,000 visitors to their site per month. So let's just take a quick look at their keywords. You can kind of see what they're doing. Um, all right, there we go. All right, so a few of these like roofing company, it's just really vague, so I wouldn't recommend that. It's a national term. That's why there's so much traffic with it. Um, but the ones I would want to talk about would be Baker Roofing Company. That's just their business name. 250 people search it. They're number one for that. Uh, this is a good one for new customers here. Roofing Companies Raleigh, 300, number one. That's a really good one with good volume. Uh, then we'd want to go down to, let's see, I know they had some more good ones here. Residential Roofing, Charlotte, North Carolina. I think you guys had that one too. 90 people search it, but they're number one for that one. I think you guys were 19, if I remember correctly. Roof Repair Raleigh, 200, number two. So the difference really is that they're on the first page and they're in the top five, which is really going to bring you even more volume. If you guys would love to hear some more information, you know, let's set up a 10 minute phone call. Imagine the difference even another 100 visitors to your site would be. How many more calls would that equal? How many more estimates? How many more of those estimates would turn into jobs depending on your conversion ratio? <clears throat> Thank you guys again. Um, only thing I will do is call you guys to ask you for some feedback. Just want to know a little bit what you thought about my video. Thank you guys though for your time. I do appreciate it. Have an excellent day.